everywhere you look are the signs of my coming have you made yourselves ready? I am the saviour of the world, your kinsman redeemer, God made flesh. I am the manifestation of the eternal, limitless one in this temporal realm. There are layers upon layers of revelation in my kingdom. More will continue to unfold as you pray to know more of my heart. As you draw more near in your understanding of all that I am, you will know that in order to truly know me intimately, you must know my heart's sufferings. I came so that men could believe, so they would have a tangible example of spirit made flesh. I came to show you how to bring soul and spirit into harmony on this side of the veil, even dwelling in a fallen world. What an incredible gift to this world that your Creator would come personally and teach by example, to demonstrate kingdom living and kingdom principles. And what a privilege and a great honor to be my chosen ones, you who are heirs to my throne, to be taught how to walk and indwell the kingdom of heaven in this place. You have seen by my life and learned in my word that to be one of my chosen, in joining hearts to me, you will suffer much. They hated me before they hated you. The way is narrow, and so few find it. Does it continue to surprise you that you will always experience heartache and suffering here? It should not, for how else could I teach you how to die and resurrect again as I did? Those of you who desire to be called my overcomers must experience all that I endured in this life. I led by example, but then you must walk in my footsteps. Embrace your cross, and follow me. How could one learn humility? servanthood, mercy, forgiveness, and unconditional love without there being opportunities to do so through experience and practice. The key to all you will face in the trials and tribulations of this life is to learn my response. Learn deeply from my word what my response was to every situation. Learn when to speak and when to stay silent. Learn when to act and learn when to remain still. Always listen for my still small voice to guide you and counsel you in the way you should go. In following my wisdom and learning of my ways, you will then have mastered the crucified life. Come with me on this journey, as I bring you from glory to glory. Allow self to die, then rise with me again. Remember what I last spoke of? Come with me from my agony to my ascension. You cannot have one without the other. It is in your deepest pain that I will come and fill you to overflowing with my river of living water, bathing you in my love and my comfort. In this place of surrender and brokenness, I have promised you that here you will find true rest. I desire that you would move quickly through the maturing process, standing on my promises and continuously praying for greater measures of faith. For truly I tell you, the bridegroom is coming for his bride. Forsaking all else to follow me means laying down all of you your thoughts and ideas, your opinions and perspectives, your strategies and your agendas. My desire is that you would step aside and allow all those I send you to see me. How will they find me if you have set up idols in the way? For you see, anything that comes from you that is before me is an idol. Take this to heart my children for this is very serious. Most are walking in idolatry without ever knowing it. Examine yourselves. What have you put before me? A serious question indeed. Remove all that hinders others from seeing me when they look at you. The free will that I have given you will many times in this life be your biggest obstacle and present the largest hurdle for one to overcome. For you see, I could never force someone to love me or obey my commandments. For then your love and obedience would only be conditional. My love is unconditional and this is my desire in return. In being given free will, therefore, it will always be your choice how you respond to all the trials and situations I allow in your lives. You can continue to step in front of me and respond with you, or you can step aside and allow me to use you to draw others to me. I will continue to send various situations and circumstances of the same nature until I see that you have matured and mastered the desired outcome and your responses in all things remains constant and consistent. This is the growth process. I am patient and I am long-suffering in your development. It is up to you the intimacy that we share. I will never hold back from you. All I have is yours. Everywhere you look are the signs of my coming. Have you made yourselves ready? Truly, I am at the door, Yeshua.